So race 23 is the Mary Reevely Chase with the two miles and seven furlongs. So number one is Dame Mill for Craig Beck with two, Poppy Elisi for Martin Leedham, three, Shadow Play for Daniel French, four, Florence for Kevin Meanham, five, Alan Air Bender for Thomas Rogers, six, Escody for Martin Leedham, Anglo Saxon for Paul Rogers, seven, Buffoos for Alex Cherry is eight, Paul Rogers Cashmere Cody is nine, and Hollywood Queen for Daryl Hinton makes up ten. So we have the two miles seven furlongs here. They're a weight. have a total of 17 fences to take. Who wants to take it up? It's Poppy Elisi of Martin Leenham from Alan Air Bender of Thomas Rogers. These are the one, two. The rest will be held up as they go to the first of the 17. And we'll take it well. So it's Poppy Elisi that leads us from Alan Air Bender. Shadow play. We got our Anglo-Saxon, the grey Florence, the pink silk's widest of all, Hollywood Queen. The wider of that is Cashmere Coat for Paul Rhodes. Going back towards the fence, we've got Bafoos and Escoli. And the one just at the rear at the moment is Craig Beckwith's Dane Mill. But plenty of racing to be had as we get to the second. Poppy Elise, the leader, went straight through it. The advantage is gone, and Hal Nair Bender draws alongside as they come down to the third, the third, first of the ditches. Nobody's over it. Back into the real now is Buffoos. So that's Poppy Alisi and Al Nair Bender. These two. Martin Leenham and Thomas Rogers. Well through by Shadow Play. Daniel French. And on the outside of there is Escoli for Martin Leenham as well. As we go over the fourth, all still on their feet here. And about a length or so back to the rest of the pack, just being pulled along by Anglo Saxon. Mid pack. And we go over the fifth. Poor jump of the rear by Hollywood Queen himself into the Tal and Charlie position. We're still over two miles to travel. Plenty of fences to be taken as they go over the six. There's Poppy Alisi and now near Bender. From a Scully Shadow Play and Anglo Saxon in the first five. Martin looking to increase his uh, King of the Hunter position. He's up there with seven. We're in the last. Got two in here. Every chance of picking up another. He's got to beat the others. Another eight trying to beat him. But it is Bobby Elisi from now on Bender and Escoli. And Shadow playing Anglo Saxon and Florence. They go over the seventh. Plus slower jumps, but everyone negotiated it well. Oh, and we've lost one there. As scoby has gone, made no attempt to jump. Just threw himself into the fence. With horse and jockey are up. So no green screens required there. But it's Poppy Elise that's still out in front. Just under a mile and a half to travel. From now near Bender in second. Florence the Grey. On the inside is third. And then it's Shadow Play. Anglo Saxon and Cashmere Coat still out wide. And we'll go over the ninth. Foos is there. To the tenth, another ditch. All over it. Hollywood Queen was a little bit slack. Still remains in last position. As we come past the, the grounds again on the hill. Still Poppy Elisi from Al Nair Bender. We get to the eleventh. Takes it well, the leaders. Didn't slow over it was Florence. But it is Poppy Elisi, Al Nair Bender, Shadow Play on Florence. Dane Mills in five. Twelfth all over it. So we've got a mile left to travel. Five fences to take. And still being led by Poppy Elise. He gets over the thirteenth. Well, Ben Bender's just moved up on his inside now, just half a length away from Shadow Plate. And a length or so back to Florence. Dane Mill on the outside. And he's asked for anything yet. As Al Nair Bender joins Poppy Elise up front with six furlongs. Side. Here comes Shadow Blade, just a length behind, and they're about three away from Florence and Dame Mill at the moment. Some of the rear are all starting to be pushed along now as we come inside the five furlong. So it's Poppy Elise from Al Nair Bender and Shadow Blade. They're five or six away from Florence and Dame Mill. 
running well on the outside are Anglo-Saxon and Cashmere Coat, but they've got a bit to do to catch these leaders. They go over the 14th, and Poppy Lisi's over at best, and they've got a length advantage now from Al near Bender, but Shadow Play on the inside. They're still four or five lengths away from the grey Florence, so it's Poppy Lisi strikes from home. He's got a two, three length advantage inside the final half mile. Poppy Lisi from Shadow Play and Al near Bender. Poppy Lisi leading by about three or four. Shadow Play trying to cut into the difference from Al near Bender who's just running a little bit of steam now. They're inside the three as they go to the 15th. There's only two to jump and it's Poppy Elise by about five from Shadow Play. Al near Bender, Anglo-Saxon trying to make up the disc the ground but it is Poppy Elise. Here comes Shadow Play as he asks for a little bit more inside the final quarter. So it's Poppy Elise from Shadow Play, Al near Bender, Anglo-Saxon. Still two to jump so it's Poppy Elise coming into the penultimate. Gets over it well along with Shadow Play. So it's Poppy Elise and Shadow Play. These two from about three Back to Bender, and they come down to the last. There's no running. Poppy Elise in Shadow Play. Shadow Play on the inside is going to take him here. Get over the last. He does. Poppy Elise goes through the top, and it's Shadow Play that's going to take this. Poppy Elise shuffles back as Alnair Bender gets up the second. Lucky there at the last for Poppy Elise for Martin. He also lost Dane Mill. And that's those last few fences for Craig Beckwith. Unlucky. We'll get over that. It is a win for Shadow Play and Daniel French. Chasing uh, Martin Leadham down. Well, no Bender for Thomas Rogers was second. Third was Poppy Elise for Martin Leadham. Unlucky. Fourth was Anglo Saxon for Paul Rose. And fifth was Buffoos for Alex Cherry.